Yeah, that was a great result for us. Uh, that's a real milestone uh, in terms of our development. Uh, a year ago when they came here, uh, we set a 10-year plan that we wanted to be competitive with uh, Taiwan, um, Hong Kong, and move above those bigger countries and more resource countries in football. Um, and in the last year, we just lost 2-1 to Hong Kong, where you know, a couple of years ago, we lost 12-0. Um, and then we just beat Chinese Taipei or Taiwan, 3-0, um, and a few years ago we lost 9-0 to them. So we're really moving on nicely and it's uh, all part of the GFA's strategic development plan, uh, headed by Richard Lyon, obviously. I think we're way ahead of where we maybe should be on paper, uh, but the, the reason for it is the support, the support from the GFA that allow me to do the programming that we need to do. Uh, the financial assistance programs that we got from our sponsors all over the Guam, uh, the parent support, the player support. So I think it was the fact that everybody in Guam is brought into the fact that soccer is a, a really good uh, avenue for their players to develop as, as athletes and players. And I think um, that entire support from, from the community um, is why we're where we're at, because they want it as bad as I want it. Um, and then obviously, um, getting the players to think a little bit differently about how they approach games. Uh, and the youngsters now know the Mattel uh, first team by name. They want to follow their footsteps. They want to be part of that program. And that's the greatest thing about having role models. And rather than having international role models that uh, live and play in Spain or England, uh, the youngsters now can look up to Ryan Guy that plays here, uh, or Jason Cunliffe, or any of those uh, first team players uh, and try to follow their footsteps because it's a closer connection.